Hello children, we are meeting after a long time with the new chapter Light. In this chapter, we will discuss some concepts, new concepts about the light because already you people have studied about the light in the class 6th. Here we will discuss some more things. Anyhow, we start with the basics of light. Light is actually the form of energy. It is the form of energy. Because it is also giving sensation of sight. It is giving sensation of sight. So, the light can be defined as the form of energy which gives sensation of sight. Among various forms of energy, light is also one of the energy. And this light, it is given by a source. That means anything which gives out light, anything which gives out light is known as source of light. Source of light. Right? Anything which gives out light. And anything which gives light. In this also, we will differentiate the source of light into two parts, two types. One is the sources which are giving their own light. They are luminous sources. Luminous source of light. Which are giving their own light. Luminous sources giving their own light. Right? Own light. And the second one is non-luminous sources. Non-luminous. Non-luminous sources which are sending the other's light towards us. Or we can say which are reflecting other's light. Reflecting other's light. Right? Other's light. For luminous sources, we have some examples. For the luminous sources, the sun is the best example for luminous source. Sun. Lighted candle. Lighted candle. Then lighted electric bulb. These are the, these are the some examples for the luminous sources. From their own, they are giving their light. Then non-luminous source, other things. Other than these luminous sources, everything is non-luminous. Example we can list out, but all are non-luminous sources. That moon. We are seeing moon in the sky because of its surface is reflecting the sun's light towards the earth. That is moon and other objects. They are non-luminous sources. Other objects. Whatever be the object. Every object which are presented, which are visible to us, all are the non-luminous sources. Right? Now, we have to think about that properties of light. Because light is given by some source. For example, we are getting light from the sun. And uh, this light is traveling from the sun towards the earth's surface. Right? The light is traveling from the sun towards the earth. While it is traveling, on what path it is traveling? How it is traveling? That must be discussed. So when, suppose, we take, this is the sun. And from the sun, 
we are getting light and the heat both are traveling it is traveling towards the earth suppose this is the earth surface this is earth surface from the sun to earth the light is traveling while it is traveling its path is always a straight line it is straight line that means light always travels along straight line this is one property you can assume this is one property of light light always is travels along straight line okay so this light is it is traveling from the sun to earth if anything is traveling definitely it has some speed so the light is also traveling with some speed and the speed of light is at most it is fastest it is fastest no material object nothing can travel with the speed of light the speed of everything is very 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 smaller than the speed of light and its speed in vacuum vacuum means the space which contain no air particles that is vacuum that is in the outer atmosphere of earth in vacuum the speed of light is maximum that it is 3 lakh kilometer per second it is 3 lakh kilometer per second just imagine that in one second it can travel 3 lakh kilometer this is the one property that is second property first property light always travels along straight line second property light travels with the highest speed that is 3 lakh kilometer per second and the third one is the third one is light cast shadow light cast shadow when strike any opaque opaque sub op opaque surface shadow when strike any opaque surface strike any opaque surface and other than these properties there are so many other properties but at this level you people only require these three properties light travels along straight line light travels with the highest speed light cast shadow when strike any opaque surface to show the light travels along straight line there is a simple activity and that simple activity is very common that is whenever you see any object any object means suppose we take this is the uh, flame of candle this is the flame of candle suppose this is the candle and the candle is lighted the flame of candle is formed if this flame of candle is seen through a hollow pipe suppose if we see this flame of candle through a hollow pipe let us take the pipe is straight the pipe is straight and we are seeing from the other side seeing from the other side now we are able to see the flame of candle and it shows the light is traveling along straight line instead of this is straight pipe if we use a pipe having vent in between suppose there is a pipe it has the vent vent in between the length like this it has vent right now if we try to see if we try to see this this flame of candle through this pipe bent pipe will you be able to see it no the answer is no because the light the light cannot when it, when the light is traveling from this candle it is strike the surface directly it is strike the surface after striking definitely it gets reflected so it cannot it cannot bend over that bent it cannot bend over that bent so the light cannot be travel after this bend and we are not able to see it so in this activity it shows the light always travels along straight line so 
These are the three properties of light. Now come to the other fact. Facts about the light is <coughs> light is coming out from the source. Right? It is coming out. It is emitted by the source. Instead of using the word coming out, we can use it is emitted by the source. Suppose this is the source. It may be an electric bulb or lighted candle, any kind of the luminous source from which the light is coming. Light is emitted. How can we show the light ray? How can we show the light? The light is always. It is continuously. We are, we are seeing the light. Suppose you are sitting in your room and the light is, the bulb is glowing. If from the bulb you are getting the light, the light is continuously traveling towards us. But to study the complete properties of light, it is assumed as the ray. It starts from the source. This is a source of light. From the source, it travels in a particular direction. And its path is shown. But actually that path does not exist. But we are showing its path. This is the path along which the light is traveling. And in mathematics, what we call from a point, if anything is starting, and traveling continuously in the other direction. That is called what? Ray. Ray. So this we call light ray. This we call light ray. So the light ray does not exist in the actual sense. It is the imaginary path. The imaginary path along which the light travels is known as light ray. So like this from the source, number of light rays are released. Number of light rays are coming out. Infinite number of light rays can be imagined. Right? Okay. Now, if we, if we collect, if we assume number of light rays together, this single arrow, this represents light ray. If we assume, if we collect number of light rays together, suppose 